For those that are interested, I have an alternate method for creating your fan. So we'll start by creating a new part. We go up to the File menu and New. Type in P for Part. Select the part. And away we go. We, all of these remain unchecked as before. And this time, instead of using the pad to create the first shape, we're going to use the shaft command. And we're going to make a, a neat little bullet shape that we can adjust. So I choose the shaft command, the sketch icon. It doesn't really matter which plane I choose. In this instance, I'm going to go for the XY plane. And now what I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to zoom in a little closer so that I can see what I'm doing. I'm then going to draw a rectangle and I want the beginning point of the rectangle, I'm looking for that solid blue circle to coincide what I'm doing right in there. So I'm just going to draw a basic rectangle like that and now I want to constrain the size of this. Now I want that to be 6mm. Um, I'm going to delete that one and this one here I'm going to shorten him right up. Uh, this one could probably be a bit shorter as well. And now, in order to create the shaft, I need to choose an axis, an axis line around which the shaft will, will be rotating. So I select that bottom line there, and I go down to this command here, which transforms that line into an axis. And you can now see that it's a dashed dot line, which is an engineering symbol for a center line. I'm now going to grab the spline tool and when I start drawing my spline I need this to coincide with the end of that line that's already drawn. So I look for that solid blue circle, I place some points here. Now I'm looking for this dotted blue line to coincide the end of the spline onto a line which extends out from the axis. So I double click there to stop drawing. And now what I can do is when I exit out of here, you can see here that it's rotating 360 degrees. So if I preview it, it's going to look like that. And there is the beginning of my fan. I think what we might do before I finish this movie is we'll just put the little hole in the middle. So if I look at that plane that sits at the, at the back on the, on the flat face, it looks like it's on the YZ plane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the whole command. I'm going to choose the YZ. And I'm going to make that 2.1 millimetres as I did before. 10 millimetres depth is pretty good. But at the moment the hole's going in the wrong direction. So I click on reverse and that should be okay.